सो इन फ्रंट ऑफ ताई वी फिनिश्ड स्किन सुपरफिशियल फेशिया डीप फेशिया फिमोरल ट्रायंगल फिमोरल आर्टरी फिमोरल वेन नाउ व्हाट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इज फिमोरल नर्व सो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग दिस फिमोरल नर्व आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट लंबार प्लेक्सिस व्हाई बिकॉज दिस फिमोरल नर्व इज एक्चुअली अराइजिंग फ्रॉम दिस लंबार प्लेक्सिस सो इफ यू नो अबाउट इट्स ओरिजिन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द फिमोरल नर्व करेक्टली ओके सो फॉर दैट लंबार प्लेक्सिस व्हाट इज लंबार प्लेक्सिस एक्चुअली जस्ट अ ग्रुप ऑफ नर्व्स अराइजिंग फ्रॉम लंबार पार्ट ऑफ और वर्टिबल कॉलम ओके सो लंबार लाइक वी हैव सर्वाइकल थोरेसिक लंबा सैक्रल यूनोस दैट लंबार एरिया इन द वर्टिबल कॉलम नाउ प्लेक्सिस दैट मीन ग्रुप ऑफ नर्व्स अराइजिंग फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया दैट इज कॉल्ड अ लंबार प्लेक्सिस इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया देर आर नंबर ऑफ नर्व्स व्हिच आर अराइजिंग इन ग्रुप दैट्स व्हाई इन वन वर्ड दे आर कॉल्ड एज लंबार प्लेक्सिस ओके सो फॉर दैट बिफोर दैट वी मस्ट नो अबाउट कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्पाइनल नर्व what is a typical or particular spinal nerve each spinal nerve has sensory motor fibers it has anterior divisions and posterior divisions okay so if you want to learn lumbar plexus you should know about spinal nerve also okay so let's suppose this is what we have is cross section of spinal cord cross section means if we will take spinal cord and if we will cut it okay in every uh, whatever the uh, segment maybe in thoracic or maybe lumbar or maybe cervical when you will cut and you will see it will look like this that is surrounded by white matter and in between uh, in center what we have gray matter this part is called as dorsal root dorsal root or sensor root sensor root this is ventral root ventral root of motor root so dorsal root and ventral root dorsal root of spinal cord ventral root of spinal cord dorsal root is always sensory in nature motor or ventral root is always motor in nature okay the nerves which are related to this dorsal nerve they are always sensory which are related to ventral they are always motor that means all nerves or fibers okay nerve fibers so now to discuss lumbar plexus let's suppose if we will talk about l2 spinal nerve l2 spinal nerve so l2 spinal nerve has anterior division and posterior division how the divisions are actually formed let's suppose this is what we have the sensory fibers they are taking information sensory sensory information from peripheral part and then giving to the spinal cord and then first then to brain okay so let's suppose this red fiber is or black fiber is motor in nature so this sensory fiber and this motor fiber okay together there are actually number of fibers not this thing lot of fibers are there but when they will be in particular structure this structure or this band or this particular group of nerves fibers for this l2 from this l2 segment are called as l2 spinal nerve this will be called as l2 spinal nerve so it has motor and motor as well as sensory fibers now what happens further this spinal nerve divides into divisions that means each division has some sensory fibers and some motor fibers same here one division will be called as anterior division and the next will be called as posterior division so this is anterior division of l2 and this is posterior division of l2 spinal nerve so clear about the divisions of spinal nerve let's suppose this is let's name it posterior division of anterior, anterior division of spinal nerve so let's name this posterior division of l2 spinal nerve okay l2 spinal nerve so make sure anterior division and posterior division are what what is that okay because if you know the about anterior division posterior division of any spinal nerve then you will understand lumbar plexus very well okay so now let's start about lumbar plexus
we have vertebrates okay vertebrae has body intervertebral foramen vertebral foramen it has spinous processes transverse processes lamina and all that parts so we know about vertebral foramen through this vertebral foramen uh, spinal cord is passing okay and at particular part the spinal nerve is giving the spinal cord is giving spinal nerves if that's uh, let's suppose if we have l2 or l1 from there l1 spinal nerve is arising l2 spinal nerve is arising like this okay so again they will have anterior divisions and posterior divisions so for lumbar plexus only l1 l2 l3 and l4 are taking part for the formation of lumbar plexus l5 will not take part will not participate in uh, lumbar plexus so let's suppose here we will draw ventral divisions and here what we will draw is dorsal divisions actually these are inter uh, spinal nerves or intervertebral from intervertebral foramen spinal nerves are arising these are not vertebrae l1 vertebrae from below the l1 vertebrae uh, l1 now will pass or in between l1 and l2 l1 in between l2 and l3 l2 in between l3 and l4 l3 will pass like this so these are not vertebrae these are spinal segments or we can call it this intervertebral foramen and from here these are L1 spinal nerve, L2, L3 and L4 or spinal fiber or nerve fibers from for L1, nerve fibers from L2 and from L3 and L4 like this. Okay. So I told you each spinal nerve will give anterior divisions and posterior divisions. Anterior divisions, posterior divisions, anterior divisions, posterior, anterior and posterior. After arising actually, not here, after arising from intervertebral core, I mean this spinal nerve will give some ventral divisions and some dorsal divisions like that. Okay. So for lumbar plexus, we have nerves, iliovinal nerve, iliohypogastric nerve, genitofemoral nerve, obturator nerve, and femoral nerve. How these nerves are actually arising from this lumbar spinal nerves or lumbar segment? Okay. So let's suppose this ventral division of L1, ventral division of L1 only gives one nerve that is called as iliovinal nerve. Okay, Ilioing one. Dorsal division or posterior division of L1 will not take part in formation of Ilioing one and now. Only the ventral fibers from L1 spinal nerve. Next, what we have? Ilio hypogastric. Yeah, both are from ventral divisions of L1. Okay, but separate nerves. Okay. Next, what we have? This now. Ventral division of L1. Ventral division of L2 together forms another one that is called as genito femoral. This now will originate from here and then it will pass through particular area and it will supply particular area. That part is not we will not discuss here. Just remember about its origin. Again, from L2 ventral division, L3 ventral division, L4 ventral division. They together contribute to form obturator nerve obturator no. again now that's all about ventral division nerves only we have for dorsal division two nerves from l2 and l3 posterior divisions they contribute together to form lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh this lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh we discussed in when we were discussing about cutaneous nerves present in thigh at that time i told you in details about origin about this lateral cutaneous nerve type we will discuss in lumbar plexus so now you can it is clear from dorsal division of l2 and l3 how this lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh is forming from dorsal division of l2 from dorsal division of l3 and l4 together they contribute to form one nerve that is called as femoral no femoral no okay so make sure obturator nerve and femoral nerve both have same root value that means they are arising from same spinal segment but the difference is only in their divisions obturator nerve is arising from ventral divisions femoral nerve is arising from dorsal divisions of this l2 l3 and l4 spinal nerves okay so to remember this lumbar plexus or mononomic is there you can remember by this trick in india gandhi gandhi ji opens Lottery Factory Ilioing minor, ilio hypogastric, genitofemoral, obturator, 
lateral cutaneous knob type and femoral knob. These are from posterior divisions, the remaining are from ventral divisions. So that's all about lumbar plexus here. Now we will discuss in details about this femoral knob.